uh, before this video gets going. I'm in my room. I have the windows open. All the dogs are outside. So if you hear them barking, uh, I apologize ahead of time for that. And oh my goodness, Chantal, you look horrible. Have you been crying? It looks like it. I guess this whole display is trying to prove herself right about her blood sugar um, coming down, I guess. We'll see. Okay, first of all, that's still... Um, too high Chantal so I don't know why you have that face like look I showed you guys um your blood sugar is still too high I, I don't care that it's down from 26 where it was at it's still too high as of now so try again that's not good and you eat an apple every day so once again, proving that you haven't done any type of research on what you should have, uh, what you should be eating. An apple, Chantal, is not good for you. It's one of the fruits that have the highest amount of sugars in it. So you should not be eating those. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Julia, this is an exercise mat for exercising, Boo. not laying like a seal. Boo. But you're cute anyways. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this because uh, at least she's doing exercise. I will give her that. A little bit of movement is good for her. So good for you, Chantal. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything negative because this is what you should be doing, Chantal. You should be doing this every day. Went too far. There you go. Hey guys, okay. so that is uh, some of the exercises I'm trying to commit myself to doing every day. Honestly, Good I find you. that it makes me feel more awake, more energized. Um, just stretching out your body, it feels so good. And I want to make my body stronger. So, hi, baby cat. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, um,. You can maybe make your body stronger, but the damage that you've done to your body cannot be reversed. So I don't know if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, that's an impossibility. I just have some exercises on pause all the time on the TV, mostly the Jane Fonda workout. But uh, yeah, so that's my that's my little um, routine. So I just wanted to update you guys on how I'm feeling. Um, you know, it's been a slow getting back on track, but... I'm finally feeling almost like 100%. Actually, I feel better than I did before I was sick, actually, which is crazy, milk but it. I'm taking milk better milk care it, of myself. Sister. Milk it, A little out of breath from the exercises. Um, but, yeah, uh, normally I don't work out in a hijab. Just to show you a bit of, like, I don't know, just a little bit of working out. And uh, I wanted to show you my blood sugar has come down so... Now, I honestly don't believe that she's doing this every day. There's no way that she's doing this every day she should be doing this every day but no much so that and your blood is uh and before i cut that off real quick um no your blood sugar has not come down that much 12 is still high 12 point whatever that's remember just two days ago i measured it and it was 24 so that proves to me that <laughs> i need to take these medications these medications are saving my life they are 
Yes, they make my uh, GI upset, but I think maybe I'll adjust to it. I hope so. We'll see. Okay, and here's what's going to happen with that medication. And this is um, from my own experience with my husband uh, who has type 2 diabetes. When he was first diagnosed, uh, first diagnosed, they did put him on metformin. Um, he had the same effects as Chantal. He felt like he had a hangover. All that, uh, Yeah, it does happen with that medication. And what ends up happening is uh, the blood sugar, you know, came down a little bit, but then you level out. Like I said before, you will level out on this medication. Um, if it levels out at a high rate such as 12, they might increase your dose. I don't know what dosage. I think they have you at 2,000 milligrams, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw um, somebody had uh, posted that or something or you stated it. I don't know. Um, if you don't, if your blood sugar does not come down while on this medication, you will definitely be put on insulin. So the fact that you are, um, thinking this as a win for yourself because it came down to 12 is not a win, Chantal. You still have, um, uncontrolled diabetes. So it's, it's not a win. You're still basically in the same predicament you uh, were in originally. Um, yeah, so that's just what I've been doing. I had some uh, jerish and some wheat bread today and uh, an apple. That's all I've had so far with a ton. So wheat bread and an apple. So carbs and sugar. So like I said, you still just you think you're eating healthy, but you are not. Those two things you should not be consuming at all at all for breakfast at all water and uh that's about uh, it i'll uh i don't know i guess that's it for this video i'll do more videos in the future showing you guys like you know more of a routine as i get into it this is very new for me and it's very very hard but i'm li like really committed to getting my health back i don't want to you're be, obviously not you know um I just don't want to be sick anymore and I don't want to keep getting more sick and I realize that I have to work hard harder than I've ever had to do in my life and uh, a lot of work on myself and I'm hoping that well I can tell you right now you're not going to drop your blood sugar by eating um beans bread and apples you're going to maintain that high blood sugar because I, I don't know if you realize it okay don't consume a lot of sugar but certain items that you eat will turn into sugar in your body as it metabolizes. So do your research about um, diet, Chantal. You guys will follow me on my journey. Um, I'm going to show you guys like things that I eat and stuff like that. Uh, bring you more into my kitchen so we can cook more healthy meals. Um, We've so, heard this before. Yeah, but that's... Uh, that's it for now. And again, just to remind you, I'm down 15 kg so far since my last weigh-in. Um, and I will weigh myself um, sometime this week. But um, yeah, so far I haven't had any binges, any junk food at all. Uh, no sodas. Uh, I believe she's lying. And I believe uh, the conspiracy theory, whatever, that she had like an ultimate binge. And that's where she ended up becoming really ill um, at the beginning of all of this. So I believe she's lying. No diet sodas. Um, I think the most junk I had was I had a couple of chips and that was it for me because they were after like, you know, going through that detox, they, they just tasted like salty oil to me. They were not Lies. appetizing whatsoever. She, do you see the eyes blinking, the eyes going to the ceiling? Lies. Just she has so many um, body movements and cues that she does where it's just like lies, lies, lies. Yeah. But um, she reminds me, like I said this before, she reminds me of like a drug addict or an alcoholic where they they say all this like nice things like about themselves. Like, oh, this I'm never going to do this again. You know, I tried to do it and it just made me feel like crap. So I'm never going to do it again. It's all jail talk. So um, that's about all of the junk food I've had, like in a little while since before, like since being sick. Lies. So, yes, you know, being sick boosted all of this, unfortunately, but sometimes that's what it takes. But also, um, 
I've been keeping it going. I've been feeling better enough and I've had an appetite now and I'm making the choices to, you know, eat out of hunger, not head hunger, but like actual hunger when I'm hungry. So once again, she's talking like a child that's been busted and she's trying to explain herself to her parents. That's what she's really talking um, like and about. Um, the thing is, I think the reason why she doesn't like a lot of reaction channels is because we try to hold her accountable and we try to point out all the lies um, that she tells on herself and she doesn't like that. So she wants to paint us as bullies. She wants to paint us as um, Islamophobic, uh, whatever the case might be. That's not the case. Um, if anything, we're the ones that are trying to stop you from unaliving yourself with food. Some of us might be nice. Some of us might be burnt. Some of us might be, you know, really mean and things uh, that we say. But obviously, people kissing your ass and being nice to you, being nice to you and giving you what you want, Chantal, has gotten you to where you're at right now. And look at yourself. Are you in a great place? No. And uh, Sorry about I just strengthen my body, my stamina, by doing some exercises, by moving more. That's also, you know, moving actually does lower blood sugar as well. So Duh. it's a win-win. <laughs> so anyways, I'm super excited. Um, Man, this is so reminiscent of uh, Amy's life journey, especially that one video that she posted where she, what was it? She got to like so many, oh my, you hear this crazy dog? My my neighbor's watering and he's like losing his mind. Anyways, um, Amy's life journey, that one video where she got to a certain amount of uh, subscribers and then she beat her child. This is what that reminds me of, like this fake um, matter of fact persona that Sean Hall displays. It's creepy. It's weird. For this journey. And um, I mean, it's daunting and scary, but like I have to for real do it. You know, I well, you're to, the so. one that put yourself Anyways, there. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this little quick vlog with you. Um, but we do have to do a healthy grocery haul. I haven't done one since, you know, really being back here. We've just been eating out mostly. And, but you can order. You can Wait a minute. Since being back here, where did you go? You've been there for a while and you did a grocery haul. I don't know how many, but there, uh, there's there been gross. Sorry about the dog. Like literally next to the window and he's right downstairs. Um You've literally had grocery hauls sprinkled in there with uh, the chicken nuggies and whatnot in there. So what are you talking about? Where did you guys go? You're such a la. Order out healthy stuff here, like, you know, sal tons of salads. You Lies. see how the food comes with greens, um, just chicken and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I'm super, super, super happy to see oh my, my blood sugar numbers go down. It's still <laughs> high, but compared to what it was... It's You're a huge yourself. improvement and it's, you know, hopefully with my medicine. <laughs> it's a huge improvement. Get out. You're like Amber Lynn. I lost two pounds. I, I'm, I'm the skinniest girl in the world. You and her are so delusional. <laughs> Get out. Well, it will just keep going down and down to a level that's not so dangerous. You know, um, I'm diabetic. I don't think that it will go down. And anybody that has children, this is what you get when you written this. Uh, yeah. And I'm a parent and I'm going to say this crap. This is. Oh, my God, this dog. This is what you get when you raise your child and you praise your child and you say your child is always a winner and you say your child is is so pretty and everybody's just jealous this is what you get right here when you never show your child you know failure and in, in, you know consequences in life as they're growing up um, I, I mean as they're growing up you need to do this this is the result Chantal delusion to like five or six <laughs> but um you know even I'll take an eight right now that would be good so um, especially when it's been in the 20s. So that's just been a really, you know, lesson. 12 is still really, too high, moron. Like I said, stupid with not taking my meds. Don't ever do that. I know most people probably wouldn't, but, you know, yeah. Because I just, you're I invincible. Know, I just neglect myself sometimes, a lot of the time. So, and I have to just really start 
you know, valuing myself more, my health. That's the number one thing. Nothing else matters. Not money, not anything other than health. Like, that's the only thing. If you don't have that, you really have nothing. You really have nothing. Well, really, since when? Uh, the way that we have watched you for over the years, the only thing that's important to you is peen, even if it's a green one. Oh, yeah. Um, so we'll see, I guess, you know. Um, it's not an easy journey to share online with the internet, especially when there's so many, like... Okay, this is not an easy journey to share, Chantal. Are, are you for real? <laughs> But the cocaina adventures and and the and the STD adventures and the uh, pepperoni nip adventures, the freaking uh, beef curtain eating adventures, like all of that is that's easy to share. But uh, your journey with diabetes is not easy to share. Damn horrible people that just like want to shame you for your problems and like you know. Um, it's just, it's really not easy. It's not an easy journey to share for people online, but I'm fine. I'm fine sharing it um, with you. It is an easy journey. There's hundreds of other channels uh, with people that actually have, you know, different types of diabe uh, di di diabetic disorders um, sharing their journey. There's hundreds of other channels with obese people sharing their journey. There's, and, and they do it. They don't say it's hard. Chantal, I, I I don't understand. You're, you're willing to show everything else in your life that a human usually doesn't show out of embarrassment. That's cool beans. But the diabetic, diabetic journey is the hard one for you to share. Insanity. Guys, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to keep going and hopefully... Um, Hopefully one day, I don't know, six pack arc. <laughs> Never gonna happen. I just mean when I say six pack arc that I hope that I can reach a level of fitness that is, you know, just amazing, amazing fitness level. So, never. Yes. So, thank you guys for listening to me. I just wanted to update you health wise for a bit. Um, I'll uh, be back soon, don't worry, with more videos. And I'm sure the better I feel, the more I take care of myself, the more I'm able, gonna be able to do, you know? And. That will mean more interesting con content for you guys, inshallah. So, anyways, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay. Whatever, Chantal. And uh, once again, I'm going to apologize for the dogs um, in the video. Um, she's clearly delusional. 12 is still too high um, because you're eating the same way. You proved it. You said you had bread and an apple. Whatever, Chantal. Um that medicine that you're on you I'm telling you right now you you're on a high dose you're gonna level out your blood I, I guarantee you if you do not change anything about the way you eat about your stagnant behavior um your blood sugar will not drop and you will be on insulin I guarantee by, by the end of this year you're gonna probably binge again because the way that you're eating you're literally setting yourself up for another binge because you're not um, seeking professional treatment and because you stated yourself that you are an addict oh my god this dog uh, there's no way that you're gonna be able to do this by yourself like I keep saying can you please seek professional treatment and um, the thing about reaction channels, like wanting to, wanting you to die, uh, whatever, um, uh, that little punk ass said over there, or your little brown nose ass that likes you all of a sudden, um, that's not what people are saying. What people are, are saying is that they've actually had family members or friends or whatever the case might be in their life situation. And they've seen people go through this and they've seen people actually die like this. So for them, it's like reliving something and they're seeing you go through all those steps marching towards a coffin. That's all people are warning you about. So take heed, Chantal. Uh, many of us uh, don't wish death upon you, but we see death coming. So get bent. Um, that's it for me, guys. Thank <laughs> you.